What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a brand new add-on from Antoine Bagatini, the creator of Bagapi for scattering objects in your models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so a lot of you are probably familiar with Bagapi. So this is an add-on from Antoine Bagatini that you can download and um, do a lot of different architectural modeling type things, right? It's got tools in here for generally scattering objects as well as doing architecture. Um, so creating things like stairs, lots of parametric objects, and you can download it for free free. And so you can download the Bagapi modifier and install it in Blender in order to get access to those tools. So Antoine just released a series of asset packs in conjunction with Evermotion, which plug into Bagapi and you can use them in order to scatter objects inside of your models. So you can download Bagagrove at the cgessentials.com slash Bagagrove. Note that is an affiliate link, meaning if you do purchase through that link, I do receive a commission. I also did receive a copy of this from the developer in order to to try it out. And so basically there are three different collections in here, or you can get them all at a discount um, by getting the full version, but there's three different collections of these assets that you bring in and you can drop them really quickly and easily into your models just by drawing a shape. And so you can kind of scroll down and see the different volumes that they have in here. So they've got the garden volume, the urban volume, and then the wild volume. And note that these assets, when you bring them in, also get installed in your asset browser, meaning you can use the built-in um, Bagapi scattering as well um, in order to scatter these objects. And so you can kind of scroll down and see what's contained inside of each one of these collections of plants. But let's jump over into Blender and take a look at the way that this works. And we'll use the Barcelona Pavilion scene that you can download from the Blender demo files. Uh, this is a model from eMirage that you can use as kind of a sample to practice scattering objects in your models. But if we jump over into Blender, basically what this does is if you've got Bagapi already installed, basically this gives you a series of tools in here for um, doing different things, right? By tapping the J key. Um, but what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you've installed the GeoPack files that come along with this. So to do that, you wanna go into your preferences and when you install the modifier, you then wanna go down, um, and this is the Bagapi modifier um, itself. So make sure you've downloaded that and installed it. But down below, notice how there's options in here for Geopack. And so when you purchase this collection of objects, it's gonna come with uh, either one or three Geopack files, depending on if you buy them individually or separately. But what you wanna do is you just want to click on the install pack button and you want to install that Geopack file. So you just select that file and then it'll install this automatically. One of the cool things about this is when you do install this, this does automatically set them up in the asset browser as well. But once you've done that, you can access this tool by tapping the V key on your keyboard. And so the way this is going to work is I'm going to jump into top down mode right here, but I'm going to select this surface. Well, the way this works is you can tap the V key pick one of your geo packs. So in this case, the garden, and you can pick one of these. So maybe this Grove Garden 06 right here, and it's going to jump you into curve editing mode. And what you can do is you can draw a shape that dictates where your objects are going to go. This takes a second because it's importing the models that it needs to scatter into your scene. So you need to give it a second while it does that. But then once it does that, what you can do is you can click and draw in here. Okay, and so then, what you can do is you can click and drag on this surface right here, and it's going to basically draw a curve. And that curve is going to dictate where your plants are going to be added. So if I look in here, what this has done is this has added plants in here based on this curve. And you can adjust the curve in order to adjust the size of this object like this, right? So I can make that bigger or smaller, but then there's other things I can adjust as well. So for example, if I tab back into object mode and I tap the N key on my keyboard, I'm gonna scroll down until I find the Bagapi option. Notice how this recognizes that this is a grove and then there's options in here for adjusting this. And so there's things that you can do like adjusting the scattering, right? So I can set the number of the large assets versus the small assets. We can adjust how much the layers overlap as well as things like the density of the different things in here. So notice how if I pick that distance up, 
or down, you can set if there's a distance between the objects to keep them from overlapping. You can also adjust if there's a padding around the outside. But there are some other interesting things that you can do to adjust the way that this is scattered. So for example, you've got your layered and your random, and notice how these actually control the way that this works with a curve. Things on the left-hand side of the curve are going to set how many of the small instances occur in here. And things on the right are going to adjust the number of large instances, right? So in this case, the large instances are the flowers. Well, if I bring this down, notice I'm gonna get way less flowers in here. So you can actually kind of use this curve in order to set the way that these are placed in here. And so there's also a random scattering option that's going to allow you to do kind of the same thing. But then you've also got the ability to set which collection is being placed in here. So realistically, you could use other um, asset packs as well just by specifying other collections. And there are also tools in here for adjusting things like the edging, right? So if I turn the edging on or off, it's going to make this more of a landscaped area as opposed to more of a natural area in your 3D space. There's also an option in here to use proxy geometry, so lightweight proxy geometry, um, as well as camera culling, right? Which the camera culling is basically going to cull out objects in your scene based on what you can see. So if I hit the zero key right now, you can see that this camera can see everything. So it's not necessarily going to do anything. But if I was to lock my camera to view like this, and we're just going to set it up Obviously you wouldn't put it this close, but notice what the camera culling is doing is it's actually culling out things that you can't see outside of your camera. And if I was to select this and toggle it on and off, right? So if I go into Bag of Pie and I toggle camera culling off, then notice how all those objects are gonna show up again. So you can use the camera culling in order to help with your performance. And there's a number of different collections of different things in here. Remember that you need to select your surface um, before you do this. But if I go into the wild, for example, notice how this is going to have more of a uh, wild grove type setting. But if I come in here and draw on the surface, I can use this in order to create a grove off to the side just like this very quickly. So this is actually coming in here and this is scattering this um, inside of that curve that I created. All right, and so in addition, I could take this surface um, and I could use the typical bag of pie scatter tools as well. So say I just wanted to add some bushes to this surface. What I could do is I could select them in the asset browser, tap the J key and notice how there's options in here for scattering or scatter painting. In this case, we'll say scatter and we'll just click on asset browser. That'll take the assets from the asset browser, append them to your scene and then scatter them on this surface. And you can set this up with proxies if you want to. And so notice how this creates these as low poly proxies, but then you can come in here and you could do things like adjusting the number of objects that have been scattered in here, right? So you notice how I can kind of drag this density up, but these are in here as low poly proxies. But if I do a quick render, notice how this is gonna render out the full geometry, just like this. So, and obviously this is a high level example, but um, Bag of Pie actually has multiple different tools for scattering these objects. And it works really well with this asset pack um, for Blender. All right, so at the very least, you should download and try Bag of Pie. It's a great free tool set for Blender. And then these asset packs are great collections of things that you can quickly add in your model as well. But leave a comment below, let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.